Bidinata. When I came back, Allah Nasuokon Jara Sanguya. I spent the night in my home at Jara Sanguya. So Manda Juno. Early in the morning, Modonatana Munda Kungong. Somebody came and knocked on my door. I said, who is that? He said, it's me. So, not a dial. Then I opened the door. He told me, I am an NIA officer. You are the person whom I came. You should come and answer at the Mansakongo police station. Mr. Sani, do you remember the day or the month this Incident happened. You because I cannot remember the date. In fact, uh, I don't know the day itself because I am somebody who is not literate, so uh, I, I can't remember which day this thing happened. Do you know the name of the said NIA agent that knocked on your door? In NIA do gulani men na tele bunda kongon fa ya to lon ne bang. Ka fa bacho ba. He is known as Bacho ba. Abota nyamina. He said he is from Nyamina. You may continue to tell us after he knocked on your door what happened next. Silan tenten ya fa molie biring ana ta ila bunda kongon mun na ta nake. He told me he want you to come and answer to us at the Mansakonko office. I said to well, him, then go, I am coming. He said, no, I will not leave you behind. I said to him, then sit down and wait for me. He sat down and waited for me. When I am ready, when I was ready, he took me to Mansakonko. To the police station. Mr. Sani, at this time, did he inform you why you were being arrested and taken to Mansakonko police station? Mr. Sani, what time was I here for? In the dalilu me ya sabo na te no kampur kiya sabo Mansakonko police station oro bang. Dalilu man fanye. They didn't tell me anything. Can you tell this commission what happened next at the station? Bin silang voice of no commission we bring all the police station or mune nara na keje. Ah, mfata the police station or the police killing tragedy. When we reached the police station, we found one policeman there. Police say niato mambo mambo jang. They call him mambo jang. Ole tragedy. He's the person we met there. Adun fana ngo shoot ngalom mulu konole. And that person, I knew him. Uh. He told that man, look, here is CD. Mambo Jan told me to sit down. I sat down. It took a long time. Then I asked Mambo Jan, what has happened? What's going on? Mom told me I don't know what's happening or what's going on, but we received orders from the top. Mrs. Sani, can you tell this commission if you know who he was referring to as the top? Mrs. Sani, for this afternoon, commission will bring you for a for your another juma le klang atar da juma le fo kang kafu ko kumakamu botan sando le. What about the sando? It can mean for the sando. Well, as for us. If they tell you the order from the top, it's from Bangul. When he told me that, I said to him, and apart from that, there was no order received, he said no. I sat down. Till uh, uh, it was dusk. After dusk, I, I thought that they will allow me bail so that I can go home, but I spent the night there. Mr. Sane, can you tell this commission what happened the next morning? Mr. Sane, for Isafo no commission we muna nara na ke osamo somanda. When it was daybreak, nata pick of koyo ya nata. I saw 
uh, a white pickup came there. A very hefty man descended from the vehicle. They said he was the head of the NIA at Mansakunko at the time. Mr. Sane, do you by any chance remember his name? I didn't ask for his name and I don't know his name. Did he give you any reason why you were being taken to the NIA in Banjul? Who are Dalilo Dila Bang? Dalilo Mea Sabu Ibe Sambala Banjul NIA. Dalili Mandi. They didn't give me any reason. Please continue to tell the commission what happened next. Silan Tendaya for Commission Women and Aranaki Potanke. Okay, Branata Diamatako Nanta Sidi San Sambala Banjul. He came and said that he's supposed to take me to Banjul Sidi Sali. They called me because of my lorry. The pickup was parked. We the pickup for la. We boarded the pickup. Nada fo na swama la ufaro kundo. We came out until after we crossed uh, the the uh, wetland at Swama. For that cross malo do kafuji Jarasi Kunda. We went to a crossroad called Jarasi Kunda. La mobile or in His mobile rang. I pick up for I saw him turn the pickup. Soma. He went back to Soma. Mr. Sane, at this point, do you know who called the said NIA agent? Mr. Sane, what tempo of all? Yeah, on the Banjumale or NIA do Gulani, Jumala Talfon mobile order. No, I don't know because he was called with a mobile and at that time I don't have a mobile. I don't know what was going on. You may continue. Then we reached Soma. Then we went towards the riverside. When we reached the river, he stood at a place where they used to make hot, hot tea for people. I sat down on a chair there. Then I saw a small boat coming from the Farafene side. Yes, these are the people I went along with to the naming ceremony and these are the people I went with to go and exchange greetings with Sehu. You may continue to tell the commission what happened next. I went to commission and I went to the This NIA man went to where the small boat uh, stood. These people alighted from the boat they came then he said to me get up I told him I am hungry I have to have breakfast he said no I forced myself to eat then we boarded the vehicle we came all the way again to Soma Alaji Mama Di Sabali wanted to drop his bag at his home. They refused. The NIA man said no. This is how we came all the way to Banjul. We were taken to the serious crime unit. Nobody told us anything. That's where they left us. Mr. Sane. Can you tell this commission where the serious crime unit is located in Banjo? Mr. Sane, for Isafono, commission where serious crime unit at the Mintole Banjulukono. 
It is located inside the main central police station or uh, 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 upstairs inside uh, uh, Banjul. It is correct to say that you are referring to the police headquarters in Banjul. That's a very place. You may continue to tell the commission what happened when you arrived at the police station. That's where they dropped us after our arrival. What I heard them say was these are the people who went to Dakar. But I didn't ask anybody. They left us there. It was a big place, no bed, we lie down on the bare floor just like here, except that if you have a mat or a praying uh, mat, you can spread that and lie down on it. Mr. Sani, at this point, do you know the names of any of the officers that transported you from Mansakonko to Banju? the person who, who came to collect me from my home is the only person I know. They call him Bachoba. Do you know any of the officers that received you in Banju? We all know. Bring Alfred Banju. Jumale Bismillah. Bring Alfred Banju. They just took us to the unit called Serious Crimes Unit. And they were also part of the same setup. You may continue to tell us what happened at Serious Crime. And then you have a lot of serious crime law in Girard. We were there. We were there. For two good weeks. One day. Between the five o'clock five o'clock prayers and the seven o'clock prayers, just a little bit before the seven o'clock prayers, another white pickup came again. They said, "Calm down. We are going to a place." Gira, we came down. Myself, Alaj Mama Di Sabali, Lamin Kasama and Masani Sedikan. We boarded that vehicle. We went. The place where we went to is the place where the NIA walk. They dropped us there. They took us into the office. We sat down. They started calling Lamin Kasama. Lamin Kasama. When he was called, they went out with him. Mr. Sani, at this point, can you tell the commission the names of the officers that transported you from Banjo Police Headquarters to NIA Headquarters? Mr. Sana, sila nyintembe na fo isa fo no komisa mwe hani kabi dokula, kanto dokula bunda jumali ito meni ye bondi Banjo Police Headquarters kesa mba NIA. Fo isi ye tolo lo muda nula ba? Hali mamu tolo lo kono mbare NIA la mwollem? No, I don't know anyone's name among them, but they are NIA operatives. Also, can you tell this commission if you were registered at the gate of the NIA? Yes, they asked me my name. And where are you from? I told them. But all that before that happened, 
Lamin Kasamale Kumandi. They called Lamin Kasama. Natata. They went with him. Where they went, I didn't see and I don't know. It took a long time. Inata. They came back. But Lamin Kasama But Lamin Kasama didn't come. They took away Masane Sedikan. They went with him. The place they took him, I was not uh, there. I didn't know where they took him to. It took a long time. I heard shouts. Somebody screaming. Saying, You are killing me. You are killing me. For some time, then I saw them, they also came for me. Mr. Sani? Mr. Sani? Do you by any chance know who was screaming that you will kill me? For her, you know, you might have to go to Kafu Al Benfala. Kafu Al Benfala. Masan Sedikan Lawudi. That was Masan Sedikan. You may continue to tell the Commission. What happened after they came to collect you? Silang afo komisyon ay muna na na kaya bring na dey fanan nuga. Bring inare ko ni Mr. Sane. They came and said to me, Mr. Sane. Iko mata abante ko bi wando fanan be farado. I said, well, that's the end today. I'll die today. Ba iuro ka kumandu inim mo mo futama. Well, so far I had screams and they they didn't come with anybody else. But Allah nata demaroke. But with the help help of Allah, the man nante funtindi ubungo kono. They didn't take me out of that room. Yeng kumandi kome ni mumu bejando yeng kumandi jang. Just like they called me uh, and uh, 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 a short distance, onyura. They told me to strip of my clothes. Onyura. I stripped of my clothes. Onyela kutroboni. They told me to take off my trousers. I took it off. I was left with only my underwears. Two hefty men came. The third one, the third one was standing. He said, bring him. When we stood there, we went in and stood aside. The man who said, bring him, his name is Dabamarena. At that time, they said he was the man responsible for that area. And it was the place called Operations. When we reached him there, there was a socket, an electric socket. I saw them pluck something into that socket. The two people pushed me and made me stand in front of that socket. Daba pulled something and clipped it on my toe. He clipped the other one on my left toe. He was standing between me and the socket. One person was standing on my left, another one was standing on my right. So I met a bike. It took some time. Bellori Benju Bola, Nino, even like in a Purunkana Boridal, Purunkana Kukeno. They were close to me so that I cannot run and I cannot do anything else. I met a bike. It took for some time. But my long time killed them because what man told me that in the time Kubuka and Ibuko Mira. I cannot remember how many, how long it took because at that time you, you, only, you were thinking of yourself. I met her. It took some time. I think he became sad. He, he, he sympathized me. Then he switched off the socket. They told me to wear my clothes. I wore them. Mr. Sani. Mr. Sani. 
Before we continue on that part, can you tell this commission who requested that you remove your clothes? It was Dabamarena who told me to strip. Can you further tell this commission what they actually did when they plugged the socket, the wire into the socket, and then placed it on your toes? What I think is <laughs> it's electricity. Is it therefore correct that you're telling this commission that you were shocked? Munta is for you make a tonal to come for commission or well and go yes. Can you continue to tell us after they asked you to put back your clothes on what happened next? Sila ntenda ya hafa mwole biri inara yiko yela fengwa ludungu mwune nara nake kwa tenke? Ngana fengwa ludungu? I wore my clothes. Inata bo dobi ji kafai fati. Someone was there called fati. Woko nye nasi jam. He told me come and sit down here. Ae ngaji kaitiko yo babulu. He was holding a white, a blank paper. He told me that we are going to take your statement. Mr. Sani, this said Fati. Was he an NIA agent? Ah, yes. Do you by any chance remember his first name? I was unable to catch up his name because at that time I, I was not even thinking about that. You may continue. He said to me, they are going to take my statement. I said, all right. Then he asked me, have you been to Dakar? I said, yes, I went to Dakar. I asked him, what, what's the matter? He said, nothing. I said, no, it's something. He said, no, it's nothing. He asked me, do you know Alaji Yaya I said, yes, I know him. I said to him, he's my father, he's from the same village with me. Because I said to him, but the reason uh, you are asking me is quite different from Al Haji Yayasis' affairs. Because you people are working with Al Haji Yayasis. Now, why are you asking me about him? I said to him, going to Dakar, is it something wrong? He said, no. He said, if it is a crime, he used to prepare uh, uh, banners and, uh, or billboards and place them at Johnson's. So that the routes or the roads that go towards Dakar so that nobody will go to Dakar. But somebody goes to Dakar. He comes back, you arrest him and bring him here and you start asking him or telling him you have gone to Dakar. When you arrested me, you didn't ask me anything except this. I said to him, this is really difficult. Can you tell this commission what happened next? Okay. All my other colleagues were questioned. They said the same thing. After we gave our statements, they returned us to the police headquarters in Banjul. We were there. We were there till another three months. Those who told me, because in those days I was so distressed that I don't check for time or even count days. Mr. Sane, during that period, were you charged with any offense? Mr. Sane, I was charged with any offense. 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 
They never told me anything like that. Were you allowed to see your family? What did you At that time, nobody has the dairy mind to even come and visit us. Were you allowed any legal representation? And no, 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 that never took place. Can you tell this commission what happened next after you were taken back to the headquarters in Banjo? police Till that day, it was around 2 a.m. at night. The same people came, uh, the same white pickup came again. They called us. They said we should go. We climbed down. They said let's board that pickup. At that time, we were so scared that we thought they were even going to kill us. We went Then we went to a big military camp. They said, this place is Bakau. They took us to a big uh, warehouse, a store. That big warehouse, it has only one door and no window. And we had to spend the night on the bare floor, and there were stones uh, uh, scattered around. And if you lie down on those stones, they used to prick you on your sides. We were there. And the, and the place was so smelly with a lot of mosquitoes around. I, I don't know anybody there. Until daybreak, I recognized some people around. The way we found those people in that store, uh, it's very sad. We were there. Mr. Sane? Mr. Sane? Uh -huh. Is it correct to say that you're referring to the Fajara Barracks? Yes. Can, can you give us a little more Yes, it's Fajara Barracks. I've never stepped foot there, but that was the day at night where we were taken to. Can you also tell this commission some of the other detainees you found there? I met MC Cham there. I met Usain Jai there. I met OJ Jallo there. I met Baj Samba Jallo there. I met Seni Fai there. I cannot count all of them, but the, a lot of people were there, many of them. We were all there. For me, I suffered there very seriously. My right leg became very swollen. I don't sleep at night. Because somebody who sleeps on small stones on the ground. And I had another pain on my leg. You cannot sleep at night. Plus, with the attack by mosquitoes. MC Cham. MC Cham. He, he, he sympathized me seriously. He asked me, don't you have any relative around here? I said, well, I have a relative here, but that person runs away from me. He said, he runs away from you? I said, yes. Because man The reason why I told him that the person runs away from me, 
whatever hard, uh, wherever you go and find it very hard, but at least one good person will be there. MC MC really stood for me. I suffered all okay. He wrote some things. My ruling council at that time, it was the ruling council which was in place. And Allah really uh, helped him and uh, answered his prayers. Then some, some uh, heads came there. That day, he spoke there for quite a long time. What ma? Alpha Mimbe police. At that time, the head of the police was FRI Jammel. MC Kaipo. MC told him. Mulbe Jali and Nati Jaiba Bataring. Mulbe Jamin Kuranda among Jarlo Nasu. You brought people here and dumped them here. And among us here, there are people who are very sick and they don't have any medical attention. A Kaipo woman get to Nati. He said to him, that is not true, that's not good. He said to him, FRI Jamme. As for us, we are politicians. But for the people who went to attend a naming ceremony in Senegal, and they just went to greet a relative, for that reason, you arrest them and bring them here. He told them there is no justice in that. He said to them, I know that. We are politicians. We, are politicians. The, we, we left some positions. Now you are the people in position. But still we are all Gambians. And we, and we also have uh, children who are now grown-ups. Whatever we are in today might end one day. So take care of people. Take good care of people. After that, that was the time when they decided to come and give help to me and some other guys. Then that was the time when a vehicle used to come. And they take us to the hospital for checkups. Myself and other people. Mr. Sani, uh, it is therefore correct that you receive treatment at this point at the RVTH. Ramunda, Mr. Sani, Nimuto Nyaldiko, Nintembenda, Alnar Najaralo, De Maros, Rajaralo, Karolo, Bangola, Lobinan Barmim, RVTH. Nasuto, Alala De Maroka, MC Chamla Diamoka. Yes, we were given medical help because of the intervention of MC Cham. Can you tell the commission what happened next? Silam Haninga beaten, then you have a commission with Munana Naga Kotanke. Kataji, you borrowed dinner, borrowed Dolman Soto. Yes, we used to go to the hospital, they gave us, they gave us some medication, but uh, not all, all the medication were available. For Yen Samba, Kanakono Natal. And they even went, took me to a place and had an x ray of my stomach. Uh, borrowed Dolman Soto. No. We were unable to secure some uh, of the medicine. At the MC Cham, it was the same MC Cham who stood for me again. He sympathized me. He bought those medications for me. And he realized also that I cannot eat. He asked me, you don't eat, what do you want to eat? I told him, if I eat food, I cannot sleep at night. It really gives me a problem. I told him then, and I have nobody here who can help me because my relatives are all at Jara Sankuya. Then he wrote something for his wife. He told me, what and what type of food do you eat before? I said to him, I drink porridge. 
eat couscous. I drink milk. I lose some money and back. He brought those things to the point that uh, I was a little bit scared. What my man tell him? And at that time he didn't even know me. This is all because of his sympathy for me. I will be nothing. He brought all these things. I sugar nothing. He brought sugar. I quick out nothing. He brought quick out. I gas bottle or nothing. He also brought a bottle of gas. I pick milk carton or nothing. He bought a carton of pig milk. Banana milk la half do uh, dozen. A dozen. Half dozen of banana milk. And in uh, gas bray carton or nothing. Sugar milk or nothing. Sugar that bottle or nothing. Then after he brought this gas tank, he brought sugar pow pow some powdered sugar and even cube sugar. So Mr. Sani, you're telling this commission that with the intervention of MC Cham, you were able to receive treatment and have good food to eat during your detention. Uh, Mr. Sani, I'm going to come in for you, Commissioner Wanyati Longrajan. I'm going to go Mr. MC Cham. He knows that you're going to be able to get the food to eat during your detention. So you're going to be able to get the food to eat during your detention. MC Cham. Yes, MC Cham. I'm going to be able to get the food to eat. Apart from the help of Allah, well, I can say that he sustained me. Apart from Allah. Somebody you don't know day and night. You happen to meet that person in that condition and he happened to be somebody who was holding a high position. He didn't look how small or little my position was at that time i had no use for anybody i was just a sufferer he stood for me like more than his own son mc i will never forget him until in the next world because if I forget MC, then I am not a Muslim and I'm not a freeborn. Even his dog. If I hear that this dog belongs to MC, I will stand by it. If I cannot help it, I will never hit that uh, Because if I hit that dog, Allah will beat me. I mean Kenya. What he did for me. I have never been able to do that for anybody. I want to thank him and hail him for that till the day I answer to the call of Allah. Mr. Sani, can you sorry, you may continue. Okay. And my family, Mbama and Sama. And my family, my mom and dad. When I left detention. MC took a vehicle and came to meet my father and my mother. He said to me, It is because of Allah who made us meet. If I don't see your mother and father and I don't know your people, and at that time my parents were very old. Uh, my children were very small. Without his help, I will I would not I would not have been able to take care of those kids. And he became somebody who really helped me with that family. Thank you, Mr. Sani. Can you tell this commission how long you were in detention for? Mr. Zan, how many days did you serve for the commission? How many days did you serve for the commission? How many days did you serve for the commission? How many days did you serve for the commission? Well, at that time, I don't have time to uh, check time, but I, I stayed there for nine months. Therefore, it is correct to say that you are telling this commission that you were detained for three months at the police headquarters in Banjo. You were taken for a day at NIA and tortured. Uh -huh. 
you were further transferred to Fajara Barracks for six months. Nada ne bundi ena elo korda baro yesa ba Fajara Barracks itarta wodo kare waro. Wala kete tuo nyari. That's true. Therefore, in total, you were detained for just over nine months. Abe kafuri mo itarta maro kono for kari konondo. Ah. Can you tell this commission the effect that this detention had on you? Aninka bi isa phoneo commission oye ni maro be kono itarta maro be kono mukole aku del sabu ima. Suti o ye mara ile dimba diwuro ula bebu. A yard owner, they catch you and put you at one place and you have seven children. Musho bebu. You have a wife. Ufama beja kebayata. My father was there who was old. Mbama beja kebayata. My mother was there who was also old. Nuhuli edomuroke ntereyadi. If whenever they eat is because of me. But have it all out already. That means they must have suffered. Obey cola. After all that, the one have a condition of mental detention of a mantra coup. The way I was at the detention center, I wasn't all right at all. But the command to nunga men sara nungo kafuko dunia dao da chendo katarajele. But what I said before, wherever you go, you will find a good person there. Bringi kansamba lupirano to soja ruo dobe fajara barasi kafaya Dr. Samu. When they were taking me to the hospital, there was a doctor at fajara barracks called Dr. Samu. I bala fasi to me baga atle mu soja ruo le doctor oboti. He also sympathized me very well. In fact, he was one of the doctors within the army. Bringi bala fasi to me. Because of that, his sympathy for me. Anata bala fasi na tandin na kamakwe. He also showed me that sympathy too and helped me too. Because I in a condition of jail, I'm better. I don't have a better man than I was. He saw my condition. He knew that we are not at all all right, and he knew this is why he decided to stand and help me. So to a kawuli a kas a fang smokeul kanan tul chik kanjubi from the kule from the kule. At night he will get up and come and look at us or check us to see. The way we were faring. Ning ayatram nadimu mumbatandi. If he found that I was not suffering from pain, I model for na jube. He will go and look others. Namantanya mola asita. If he discovers that nobody is suffering, he will go. Bari nilu men nadimu mumbatandi. But if he comes and finds me suffering with pain. The first thing in the morning, he will come and pick me up and take me to the hospital. Asi makui. He will help me. Nana malong. I never knew him before. Ngalo barale kono. That's the time I knew him during my suffering. Asi intera nuoto. He will keep me there. I laramo dinna. He will give me a bed. Asi into potoje. He will take good care of me. So that the pain will be uh, will go down. Sometimes uh, when it is a little bit alright, when I improve, I will sleep. But usually at night, it's hard to sleep. He will leave me there for some time. If I wake up. He will tell me, let come and let me take you back to your place. That's how I was there until I left that place. And his help was not only for me alone. He helped a lot of other people there. He's somebody who has sympathy for people. Until I left the place. I never saw him doing any wrong to anybody. But when I left detention, I looked for him everywhere, but I cannot see him. But even if I lie down at night, I used to think about him. Because the time he took care of us, Nini sojaro jilori wala polisi wala mukoteng. 
if they see you standing with a ah, policeman who is a soldier or somebody else, uh, that person will have a serious problem. Ah. Yes. Mr. Sani, can you tell this commission if you sustain any injuries which you are still living with? Mr. Sani, can you tell this commission if you sustain any injuries which you are still living with? Mr. Sani, can you tell this commission if you sustain any injuries which you well, I am somebody who can say that I am still still sick all over. Don't see the way I am talking. That's far from a uh, uh, sickness. Somebody who, since the time of detention, they take you to the hospital. They look at you. They didn't tell me you are suffering from so and so. But I, I, I am still not able to recover. Amame, just recently, Mike. Mr. Chair, we were just informing the witness that we shall take record of his medical papers later on for the view of the commission. You may continue. I am still really sick. Since the time I was electrocuted, from my two uh, big toes for Najang up to the middle of my head. It's only Allah who knows what goes on there. I cannot. We left that place. Yes, somebody lied over. They took me to another place. Yes, Natal. They uh, X-rayed me. When in sign tema. Up to this day. But I have the calafade. When Natal only when I do the whole. Up to now, uh, my suffering in fact has increased. Those X-rays and the check they had on my eyes. Man fell on the floor. I don't know what was going on up to now. Uh, just a small bottle for my eyes, that's what they gave me. I used to drop that in my eyes. I left here. <coughs> it was a long time because it can be up to six months now. Well, as I thought, if it is more than that, but it will not be less than six months. Not about her back. I suffered really. I had a son here. I have a son here. He called me. He said to my father, Come, try and come. I said to him, I cannot come. My body cannot take uh, anything that goes along with suffering or hardship. The, 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 that one is a lady, but he, that lady has a younger brother. He told me uh, that younger brother will come for you and escort you and come down here. If you have a problem, he will always stand by and help you. Then uh, that, that went to collect me and came down here. We, we went to a clinic in Brikama. I, cannot, I don't know, but I think it's called Bolondi. I was really suffering in those days. 
Mansola de Maroka. But with the help of Allah, when you see that you made a bad bag, that day I sat down there for a long time and I really suffered that day also. Then my uh, my daughter then said to me, now let's have faith in Allah. <laughs> then we, we, we prepared lab until I, I got uh, uh, to go to the lab. They took me also to a scanning place. After leaving the lab, we went to some doctors. That day, I was given six injections at the same place. And they gave me a lot of other medicines. My dad daughter paid for all that. From there, we left. I said to her, I'm going home. She said, no, you should stay here for some time. I said to her, I cannot be here up to that time. Let me just go back home. Because they, they are lonely at home. If I am not there, your mother and the children at home will be worried. I, tell, I said to her, let me just return home. I went home. With the help of Allah, I, I, I used all those medicines. After I finished them, then I saw that I, have, I, I am now able to walk by myself little bit by bit. Even these, I was called and told that I will, I should come to the commission. To, even to come here, I don't even think about it. She came and talked to me and said, Father, I said yes. She said to me, try and go. I said, really, I want to go, but I have the mind to go, but I am really, I am really weak to go there. Yesterday, early in the morning, I came down, but I really felt it, I suffered. Because even the time I spent sitting down here, I am really feeling tired with my body. This is why I cannot stay at one place for some time, for a long time. This is what made me afraid to come here. So yesterday when I came, they said, go and come tomorrow morning. When I went home, I went to my daughter, I told her that I am going home. She said, don't go home. You have to try. Go and face the commission and tell them what happened to you. I said, I really want to narrate my ordeal to them. But it is because of my body, the way I am feeling, her husband appealed to me because he's somebody who really, really I respect and I feel ashamed to him to deny what he said to me. Had it not been for that, I would have returned home yesterday. This is what made me have the inspiration to come here today and talk to you and narrate what has happened to me. Mr. Sani, once again, thank you very much for coming to testify before the TRRC. Mr. Sani, I think the Commission of the Inimbara is the Commission of the Inimbara. Yes, the Commission of the Inimbara. Also, I am extending thanks to the Commission. And at this point, I have no more questions for you. Mr. Chair, I hand over the witness.
we hope we won't keep you here too long. Jikira ni na kwaonde sindi la jamu fau puruka yeme siri njamu. Commissioners, if you have any questions, I will please. Sira ngapi ni ningaro la commission ala buluni ngai tra mo mo yini ningari sora sedo e isa ani ni isa ani ninga a memfo. If there are no questions, and if you have any final remarks to make, please proceed to do so. Sira ngabetembe abetembe da mendo jamu commission ala mo mo sora me yini ningaro sora e sira ngu mo murte tra fanga sedo ninga tra e fanga kuma sora be memfo la banko mo liye e isa 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 tenteng. Yes, I have something which I want to tell the uh, countrymen. Before I say that, uh, my sincerest thanks and hails to the commission. It looked like that we were living in a hole. A hole which you know. If there was no commission in this country, nobody would have known about that hole. Because man, I know for the reason why I said that. What about you, Ntebula? When I was released, ni men kaka cha men ni nyala ko ndol batara lenga batara kulsoro. The people who I used to chat with and I used to tell them the type of suffering we encountered, yemura ulolle. They thought that we were liars. But with the help of Allah, Allah decided to help the people. Allah put some people together. We, we put our minds together. The person who meted that kind of suffering and devastation on the people, we all became one mind and one heart. We voted. We removed him here from power. But I'm still afraid. And I'm still suffering. And there are many people like me who are still suffering. However, tired and, and suffering I encountered, there are people who suffered and who are more tired than me. After our voting, we thought that we were going to have peace. I'm not talking about other people, but the people who went through this problem for 22 years. We are really tired. And we are still suffering. And we are not able to get any work here. The help you did, the, the, the good work you did up to the point where the commission is, suffering will kill people in this country more than the coronavirus. Unhappiness is something which is worse for the human being. Those who place this suffering on us, they are Gambians. They are not citizens of other countries. We see them here every day. They are driving their private cars. They are doing all things. The government did nothing about them. And that's the government, that's the government we voted in. How can that government stand and help us? Those people, he didn't deal with them to remove them from those positions. They are still sitting before their things will be made clear. NIA headquarters. The NIA headquarters. That should be completely banned. The name NIA should not be named in this country again. 
the wickedness they meted on the people in this country the suffering they meted on the people they had no sympathy they didn't they don't even think of tomorrow has left people are the word bad ones are still they are walking and in fact they are mocking people Gambia be dala sanyuma when will the Gambia be made ni to rosi bango mol mang heartbreak will kill people here wala be kala de this is what's going to happen ni to nya man fo if the truth is not established alko nga to nya fo nga nyoju so nyabu his you said we should try and reconcile and try to calm each other I'm, I'm not saying the, the commission uh, uh, will not be able to reconcile and help people, but it is not this government. People who are dismissed from the Santol to the Sofari la don la kramun betinata. They are ob 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 living in the rural areas. Their children's education are all shattered. And, and all that was because of power and there is no justice. I'm bringing a card of a government seat a facade man ke ondo le be batane le batabla fa dol fa ta ma after we voted to put in a new government they did nothing about that in fact recently some have just died their families are suffering they are suffering they are continuously suffering they said the gambia is a smiling coast. smiling coast for community <laughs> what is the smiling coast i don't know because i see it on tv people saying it's the smiling coast but this country is not a smiling coast jamu <laughs> this place is a, a, a country whereby we swallow each other. I'll say here today. Please forgive me. Gambia Dingol. Gambians. Karanalu. Those who are educated. Menika Masakunda Tamani. Those who are government operatives. Yamolu Dahani. Please help to ease people's problems. Gambia, do I remember Gambia? This Gambia, the, the, the size of this country, the smallness of this country. Ninto nakatama Gambia. If there is justice and truth in this country, me Gambia to bondi la Gambia to mbake la banta arjanaleti. We will even change the name and make it the paradise of the world. But nyoku nundu dale bejande. But this place is where we swallow each other. Ndol mo batari ngol mbuka nato nyasutono. We the sufferers cannot get justice. In this and I'm afraid this commission it is only the truth which they, they, they work on what I don't know is with all this weather we will have that justice that because, we are out of because I'm afraid the reason why I said this I told Nanamanyinke you before you did this jane commission le bejang the jane commission stood here na moy ko jane commission ni pare tale we had that the jane commission completed its job but if you look at the board nothing has happened nada je ko we then let us know the demand fa ngoya je ko me alone i saw that ya jamme bota jam ya jamme has left but 22 years ko ya jamme dem mama ndo ko ke but within those 22 years, it was not Yaya Jame alone who walked here. And in many years, okay. Yaya Jame's operatives and aiders, they are still here in this country. Do that tolerate a rotten mango. Nabe mango kono. If it is among a bag of mango, akela mango moto moto musasa ole be tinya. You will have your whole bag or the whole set of mangoes will all be rotten. Nadol commission si fere sur aliye ma ko you know. If this commission can have a way to help the people, aliye ma ko ninga meni mo ibo bata kono. Help us to extricate Ningambia from this suffering. Nina ta nina ko. We forgot that. Imam Ratib ko luke muta nyim bangu ganjan they arrest imam ratibs in this country me me ye mi da momen be ala la ko dato think of somebody ima obunya who is an imam ratib yo yo tora they don't have respect for them they ya la bunya tinya they destroy their respect wala be kenona banku de dade is that way of making a country ndol ko alhamdulillah nga ya jamme bon janne nga baro nati hani bi woku be sofari ndorom be batari ndorom we said and thanks to Allah, we have removed the Ayajame, we brought Baro, but the same suffering is still going on.
Du tati nyari wono be society kono. Do you have rotten mangoes among the society? Mo fala al be society kono. Killers are walking around the society. Mo arrest lal me ke sambe puriya tocho be society kono. People who were arresting people around, torturing them, are still walking in the society. Left al lan yin kafu al kato nyali sabati ndali ma ko nyali sa fero sudo. I want to nyali sabati Gambia. Is a truth-seeking body. I want so that this commission will help the Gambia to establish that justice. Uh, among your leaders, I recognized somebody here. Amalong, he doesn't know me. I know one of his sisters called Jarai Sise at Bansang. They call him Dr. Lamin Sise. Martin Dulabake. My sincerest thanks to him. Mantu Abu Karano. I have not been to school. Mamu Abu Karano. I have not been to. Baringa Tonya mo intulo langa Tonya alone. But I hear the truth with my ears. I know what you're saying. Ni Kofi Anam. When he was at the United Nations with Kofi Annan, nga long ko be Gambia la dinchendo le kono purka Gambia fasa. I know you were among the good sons of this nation, and you are always following the truth. Iman long, you don't know me. But because of your good stand, I have you in mind. And I always keep my, my mind on you. And with the help of Allah, they brought you here. And I know that the UN, they don't uh, uh, abuse people's rights. Gambia do na nyanto di mo la nyanto tinyata le. But the Gambian people's rights have been abused. Oto te sike mo ti ye Gambia de ma alaka ma alasi jo. So please be somebody to help this country and Allah will reward you. Eni la ni nyato ngol me bebe jang. Yourself and all these commissioners here. Ali Gambia jube, ali Allah jube, ali Gambia la bata jube. Look at Gambia and look at Allah and help the Gambia. I see one person here. I don't know where that person is from. Imam. They call him Imam. I trust in him. And I have hopes on him. With all the people walking here. Tomado, maybe. You will help the Gambia because But I am telling you the Gambia is still in the bush. We are not yet out of that bush. And you people are leaders of the religions. And leaders of religions in this country. The respect and the benefits they should get imam are still lacking imam anyanta josodala should have pay dimbale babulu the imam has a family afana mo hadama di woliti he is also human ara anyanta dimbale balunila and he should feed that family bandola imamul muke na fafen na but we don't do anything for our religious leaders nimmo wulute ko imam if somebody uh, is delivered they say call the imam if somebody dies, they say call the Imam. Amando kushura kali salindi abe mul abe mule beto. The Imam has no other job just to lead people. Na na ma moi. I have never heard. For the question le lundi Imam mule kali tolijo. That the Imams they have uh, 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 established salaries for Imams. I've never heard of it. That should have been done. If we said the Gambia is a, is an Islamic country. So, my sincerest thanks to all of you. What I want to say again. November 11. November 11. Jara. There are two soldiers at Jara. They want to come and testify. I want, to, to, I want you to help them to come and testify. And there are other people who want to come and testify here. Please help us. You have gone around Bara, Nyomi, and other places, but. The, uh, you have not done things uh, as extensive as we want. Please, we want you to help those people to come and testify. These two soldiers I'm talking about. They were arrested, jailed, and then dismissed from their job. 
and these people have a family to take care of. Wokola. After that, Gambia. Gambia. To abukara nul. Those who have gone to school. Al Gambia ji al kan al fanda maje. Look at the country. Don't only see yourselves. Do you remember Gambia la? The 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 size of this country, how small it is. If there has been justice and truth going on in this country, we will have benefits out of that. Our, our, our children will really have peace, and their offspring will also have the same peace. But these rumors and things going around, and we doesn't go with what a a samala, uh, uh, smiling coast. Eh? That will not take us as a smiling coast. It cannot take place. It cannot take place. Because nobody is doing plans. They don't play football and score a goal. We have to follow the Allah team. Allah is watching you. You. wherever you are. To walk this country is not that hard. I'm talking to those who have gone to school. Make, make this country and stop making your post. To make this Gambia is not that hard. If the Gambia is not an Islamic country, it wouldn't be good. The suffering that we encountered, some things would have happened here which we don't want. And I'm praying to Allah so that Allah will protect us from that. Many political nini, who, those who are looking for political positions, they are all Gambians. Wherever one wants, you can be there. But the Gambia did that. I mean, that means that the Gambia did that because the Nigerian told them to leave the Nigeria. But the man we uh, allowed to lead us should make this country because that's what he, our, we, the mandate we gave him. A man who party may have to tell me. It is not the party that make him lead. May have to tell me. The party that didn't allow him to lead, that didn't give him that lead, leadership. More killing, more people become more killing. Tell me no. Not all come together to just to, to what, choose one leader. There will be an opposition. But if you walk, people who love the truth, who are just people, but if you don't do work and you just work for your pocket, the good people will run away from you. Even if they die, they will, will die despise you. Politico. I am appealing to all Gambians, politics. Let's not do it to destroy each other and to fight each other. These forums, you call somebody and insult him he will just take us backwards if we are on justice on the path of truth and justice people will come there may Allah only allow peace to reign in this country it is Allah who creates this peace for people in the name of the holy prophet in the name of all prophets and in the name of all highly educated people, knowledgeable people, scholars with, and people who have good minds in the name of uh, 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 the, the, the endowed ones in the name of our mothers and our fathers May Allah give us somebody who will develop this country. May Allah give us something who will develop this country so that lies will disappear from this country. In the name of the Prophet. In the name of the Al Quran. In the name of all those land people. In the name of all those who pray. The last thing I'm going to say, those who swear by the Bible, they are most faithful than people who hold the Quran. Bible the owners of the Bible, Bible If he swears by the Bible that I will do this. That's what he will do. He also will do. But according to my own observation, 
muta nyame nanka kalala dibe kali kude we hold this al quran and swear we don't do right because muslimo because a muslim name moy what i had al rano ni ba mala ibata ibata kila kombeto nyala fala ci di lembam wala be kan la ministral te ba wala president lemba you want to swear by the al the quran whether it's a president or it is a court trial or whatever it is enyanda senegal you should be clean yesaro court yeah ye al quran le bla be je yoto kumandi ya karan there is a portion in the quran where han ni def fawo mano ye da say woto kan where they should recite even men be kalin la nay men fo ya fo even if you don't know the man who is going to make you swear should recite that portion ni yo fo and you follow the person if you say that iko ni manna ko ka nyaama ala si nyin kenna saying that if i don't do right me ala do this and this to me ni akal wo kal nyaala ala ba wala kelela de if you swear in that way that's exactly what allah will do to you but ya qurano dun tabulu but they just give me the, the quran in my hand e ko mbengal la ko you say that i am swear in that mina to nyaare fola i'm going to speak the truth here ala si ndema me ala help me wonde kal ramo de muslim wala kal ramo does not the muslim wala na swearing mismanagement ni siata gambia this is why there is a lot of mismanagement in this country ali nga kal ndiri nya falin let's change the way of swearing by the people no, those with the bible ila kal ndiri nya sahayata the way of swearing is straight for ka muslim wala kal ni nya men al qur'an la mantra amanta silola the way they make muslim swear imam ya lon ka men fo imam knows what i'm talking about ete al quran kal ko ni ngado ko maka nyaama alama alay halaki you hold the quran and say if i don't do right with my work may ala cost me ate ti nyaaro ke la de no that will not be abaka right. la do be halaki la le but if you do it right the more you, you will be cost momo be hadu marim politiko la those who are hori be kala dimi dolo be kala minister di you want to become a parliamentarian kalo man ga keto nyaata jede but the way they swear is wrong nin to nyaabe je if it is moje minister poso di allah la president poso at tuli na be fo nyalal if it is the truth you will see somebody appointed as a minister but very soon he will leave the position ali nga na kala ni nyaafa la imamol dol mo sil mol leti let's change our way of swearing we are muslims naloto nyaaka let's stand on the truth ala ben fasal ala will help us bani maloto nyaaka if we be mela ñun ne la ten drong wati wati commission ne mu kene ay koule mu te bigire son koule mu fente kenu la to nyaati if we don't follow the part of the truth we will stay like this for quite a long time a mismanagement in bango kunne nae and so on mismanagement has already swollen this country ni mem man so wala e be placeol toy ka soto If, if nobody agrees to that and you are high ranking uh, holding a high ranking position then does it ni mo do ragle if we don't correct that smiling coach in today it is not the smiling coast ni ba kun coach lem it will be a country where big fish will keep on swallowing others so mena ko moda na jam that's where i am going to stop mbal tent le mbal jey la i thank all of you momo na ta jang anybody who is present alma kere kala be me ala give us all peace alama be tangala me ala protect all of us alama be balu nya son yalla me ala make living very easy for all of us ari jano be ala le buru ala has the the the, the place where ala, ala is the owner of paradise alama ay mission me sen wonu nati je me ala bring clean muslims to that paradise bad muslim ko no tata ari jana de but bad muslims will not go to paradise e ka fole muslim na fiko those are the hypocrite muslims atata ari jana they will never go to paradise even if he goes there just ala tamam so ni mo la tamam so to munul na alay menu bi ndar jana he will be different from the people that allah himself hadunde tula jande and we will never remain in this world ni dunia be diarin te nyaawna la kala le diata de ngoni mo tata e bukana however sweet this world is the next world is sweeter than this world because those who has gone has never returned ali nga hak lotu ala to let's always keep our minds on allah man salemu he is a leader ibe santo you are up ibe duma you are down ibe dawada wherever you meet atay gele he is seeing you akono to diata very kind asisi asisi mbo wara ni be kool men kan ala kan empower you in anything you think you can fool ala e ko fanni ni you are fooling yourself
Bendamu Julboro, Menkaka Adulboro, the 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 thread that goes into a, a, a needle. Ia nakaroke semua fenai babola nyoto yomalu. However small it is, you cheat on the on the day of uh, judgment, you will have to pay it. Presiden oleh Allah itu for ya bay. Presidents promise and uh, and and fool people. But Allah, but Allah. Never fools anybody. So we Muslims, let's, let's agree to God, however you are. Let's follow the truth. That's what's going to be beneficial to us in the world and in the next world. And in the next world, the day of the next world is longer than this world. And it is inevitable. So, I'll stop here. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed, um, uh, Mr. Sani. Mr. Sani. Your final remarks um, uh, contain a lot of instructions um, uh, for almost everybody. But uh, we are the ones who would thank you enormously for coming to testify. You come to help us um, fulfill uh, one of the principal functions of uh, the uh, objectives of the uh, TRRC. And we are required to provide you uh, as a victim an opportunity to relate um, uh, your own account of the violations and uh, abuses you suffered. And for that, we thank you very much indeed. And uh, for some personal remarks, some kind words you addressed to me. I thank you. Uh, we will take a lunch break and then come back at uh, 2.30. Meeting is adjourned.